Hello, my amazing artists. Today, we are going to start with a flat piece of paper, but end up with some 3D awesome creations. How? By folding with origami. So, join me while we make a origami cat and an origami puppy dog. All right, let's get started. Origami is the art of folding paper into shapes and objects. Origami is a Japanese word for folding paper, but people from many places and cultures have folded paper for many, many years. Today, we will learn how to fold a cat and a dog. To fold our animals today, we will need square pieces of paper. A square has four sides that are all the same length. Here's a rectangle. With rectangles, all four sides are not the same length. Two opposite sides are longer than the other two opposite sides. Here are some squares and rectangles. Look at the squares. They have sides that are all the same length. Look at the rectangles. They each have two sides shorter and two sides longer. Most pieces of paper we have are rectangles. Today we will need square papers to do our folding, but don't worry. If you only have rectangle shaped paper, I will show you how to fold it and cut it to make a square piece of paper. I'm going to show you here how to make a square piece of paper out of this rectangle piece of paper. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to pick a corner. I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to carefully bring it so that this edge is going to come match up to this edge. So watch what I do. Here it goes. Make that corner sharp like that. And then you match that edge up to that edge and hold it. And then you just press it down and make a nice crease. And the next thing you need to do is get a pencil and just mark this here to help you know what to do next, which is to cut this piece off to make a square. You might need to get a grown up to help you with this part to make you some square paper, but maybe you'll be able to do it on your own. Let's just watch this cut this piece off and then it's a square piece ready to fold a, an origami animal in this case a cat or dog today watch me do it one more time I just want to make sure you get it we take the corner we fold it up like this to meet the edges together then we press that down so it lays flat. Then we make a line here so we can cut the edge off and it transforms from a rectangle into a square. Now I'm going to show you how to fold a cat. So I have this nice stack of square paper that I just folded and cut out of my rectangles. You might already have square paper. Maybe you didn't have to make any your own, of your own. You might have origami paper at home, for instance, but I'm gonna use this nice white paper to make my cat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one corner, I'm gonna set it on, it on its tip like this so it's sort of a diamond shape. I'm gonna take one corner and I'm gonna meet the top corner very as carefully as I can like that and put my fingers there and then come down and crease it. So when I press down on that paper, it makes a nice fold, a nice crease. And I wanna press pretty hard so it's nice and smooth. Then to make my kitty, I'm gonna fold it like this and just fold right there so I can see that that is the center of my paper. 
And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this down from the center to kind of make this go point straight down here to make one point and then I'm going to fold from here and go down like this and then I'm going to flip it over and these are going to be my two kitty ears that they don't have pointed heads right at least my cat doesn't have a pointed head uh, so I'm going to take these two points and I'm going to put them together and fold them back a little ways maybe to about there and press it down so that looks more like the top of a kitty cat head so now I have two ears and the top of the head and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this point under like this I'm going to flip it and just turn it back that way there so that is like the bottom of the kitty face and this is the top of the kitty's head and here are the two ears ta-da I made a kitty shape so now I can decorate it I could use colored pencils I could use markers or I could use crayons. I could just use plain pencil if I want, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make this kitty have some green eyes because that's what my cat has. She's got green eyes. I'm gonna make eyes that are shaped kind of like a, an oval that goes that way on the inside. And then I'm gonna make them shaped like this. Kind of that cat eye shape. At least that's what my kitty cat's eyes are like. <laughs> now I'm going to make a little nose. I think I'll use some black for the nose. I'm going to make a triangle for a nose. Color that in and make a little line here. And there's the little muzzle part, the front part of my cat's face. Now I'm going to add some whiskers. I think I'll put those on with gray. I'm going to make some lines off to the side like that and maybe since I put three there I'll put three here there her little kitty face she's happy now I'm gonna draw some pink inside the ears there and there and I might just put some more color on her later with some crayons to do kind of a mixed media thing mixed media means when you use maybe some markers and maybe some crayons or maybe crayons and colored pencils you mix up the art tools so that is my kitty cat a cool thing about this part that we folded down is it also can make the kitty stand up a little bit it's a maybe a little hard to see from this angle but it could make it so the cat you can lean it up against things or just let it stand on its own so when we do paper folding and origami we're really taking a flat piece of paper and folding it so that it has a different form it can be a 3d object now it's not just flat that's pretty cool so i'm going to put my kitty over here and now i'm going to show you how i fold a puppy a little dog it starts out the very same way putting my paper like a diamond, taking the bottom uh, corner and matching it up to that top corner, holding it down and pressing across. If I press down on a flat surface, nice and smooth, it makes a good, a good fold, a good crease. And then I'm gonna do that part where I fold it across like this and just pinch it there so that shows me right there, that little fold that I pinched shows me that's the center of um, my piece of paper. And on my puppy dog, I don't want to fold it right at the center like I did with my cat. I want to go over to the side. So I'm going to put my finger in the middle, then I'm going to move it over a little bit, and I'm going to that's where I'm going to bring the ear down. And I'm going to decide, do I want it here? No. Do I want it here? I think I just want it like this. And then the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna find the middle. I'm gonna put my finger here to measure and I'm gonna pull that down and decide how I want that ear to go. I think I want them to sort of match. So I'm gonna fold it this way. Now, my dog, I'm not, I don't wanna have a pointed bottom of the face here. So I'm gonna fold that back like I did with the cat. 
way. Press it down. And now I have a little puppy face. This is going to be the face. And here is floppy little ears. And this one will also be able to stand up or at least lean on something to make it more 3D. Let's just look at the difference between the kitty and the puppy shape. The kitty has points going up for ears. The puppy has big ears flopping down. <laughs> the kitty has a top of the head that's folded flat. The puppy's top of the head is just already flat. And the kitty has a folded piece underneath, and so does the puppy. They have some things that are the same and some things that are different. I'm just going to decorate my little puppy face now. I'm going to make two little round eyes on this puppy. You can make your puppy however you want. You can make your kitty however you want. It is yours. I'm going to make a little pink nose on this dog because I know my dog Wags that I had when I was a little girl. Wags had a pink nose and he had a little pink tongue that came out of this little mouth of his. I'm not going to put a tongue on there right now. And Wags had little whiskers too. And I think on this dog, maybe I'll put some brown spots on its ears. Now you can color and decorate your cat and your dog however you want. Of course, yours, not, well, yours won't look just like mine, will it? Because we are all different artists. You're the artist with yours. You get to make the choices of what materials you use to color it and what shapes you put on it what kind of face, and all those things. So I'm going to add some spots to this little dog. And there's my little puppy. So I don't know about you, but once I learn how to make these, I think I want to make a bunch because I want to make some friends for my cats and dogs to play with. So. I'm going to make a few more and then I'm going to work on coloring them and um, you can watch me color them. Also, uh, to, in order to learn how to fold these, of course, since this is on a video, you can go back to a to the place where um, you want to see how to fold and you can freeze it, right? You can go back and look at it again and again till you get it down. Okay, have a great time making cats and dogs.